I am rebuilding my stack. What should I go with? Silver or gold? Rounds or coins? Eagles or junk? Kooks or koalas? Precious metals are unique in money management. It doesn't create income, but if you buy low and sell high, you make money. It is a savings account that you can't spend on the spur of the moment, but you could liquidate pretty quickly in an emergency. As we saw in the housing collapse, you could use precious metals as a hedge to cover yourself in an economic downturn. And best of all, you can touch it, smell it, and taste it. You can take your stack and go all Scrooge McDuck in it if you want. For me, it is not for bartering during the zombie apocalypse or when Congress declares fiat currency illegal. For that, I'm stacking this. My time frame is over the next 20 years. By then, I will be retired and my investment needs will be different. Over the long term, I think the gold-silver ratio is a good guide. The higher the ratio, like today it is near 80 to 1, the more my stack will be silver. A low ratio, like 40 to 1, will indicate to buy gold. The more interesting question is, do you trade silver for gold and vice versa when the ratio is very low or very high? The sweet spot, since gold and silver has been allowed to be freely traded, is around 60 to 1. So when gold is 55 to 65 to 1, the stacking would be about equal gold and silver. And this is also the ratio I considered when I looked at pricing. In high school, I was stacking rounds at under $10 per ounce. Even before I started stacking, gold was three to $400 an ounce. Because of that, psychologically, the key price point for me is $10 silver and $600 gold. Remember that 60 to 1 ratio? Meaning, below that, sell the car, sell the house, sell the kids, buy metals. So do I delay stacking because we are still well above $10 silver? This is the price if inflation is taken into account. This blew my mind because $10 silver is roughly equal to $17.50 today. So... If I was willing to buy $10 silver in the late 80s, why wouldn't I buy $17 silver today? This really made me sit back and think about what is my entry point into the stacking market? So having decided to stack, what am I going to stack? My stack will be about 80% foundation and 20% indulgence. The foundation has to consider premiums, both when buying and selling. So I'm looking at silver with stable premiums, and that means government issued. This can be semi-numismatic, like eagles or maple leaves, but it's also low premium constitutional silver, but not rounds. Both are low premiums, but junk silver will tend to hold its premium, whereas you never see your premiums back on rounds. Also, numismatics should be considered. Not an MS-67 three-cent piece, but I like Morgan and Peace dollars. These are not exactly junk silver since there is a significant premium, but then again, these cartwheels do a good job of maintaining that premium. But simply stacking for weight is not why we stack. Be honest. Whether you stack coins, rounds, bars, or poured, you love the look and feel of your silver. There has to be a part of the stack that is just interesting pieces independent of premium concerns. I believe you need to have an interesting part of your stack that you love. If I'm in Reno, and I see a silver round about the Comstock load, I'm going to buy it. Or maybe I'll buy a high premium coin like a Graded Morgan or a Proof Silver Eagle because I like the look. Or a Troy Pound bar of silver simply because it's a Troy Pound. How awesome is that? So, that's my philosophy on stacking. Agree or disagree? Let me know. My next video is where you see what I buy to start my stack rebuilding. Subscribe below so you don't miss it. And if you like this video, hit the up thumb so I know what content to make more of. Until next time, stackers, Drake Savory, signing out.